Yeah, I had to say we nailed it. You need glasses. Polyurethane plastics with many properties. Yes, that's right. Polyurethane plastics. Wicka, 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 wicka. What's up, everyone? You ready for the DPU? It's squishy and soft. I like it. The squishiness, elasticity, TPU, flexible filament, flexible gifts for friends and family, GoPro mounts for your drones, rubber bumpers, motor protectors, foot protectors, skid landers, lots of uses for flexible filament. That's right, thermoplastic polyurethane. Resistance to oil, grease, and abrasion. Impact resistant. Everyone ready? Everyone. Hey guys, Wayne Stevenson here. If you were following along on my Dyson Cinewa video, you'll remember that I needed some TPU to print the top plate. I've been enjoying everyone's PLA lately for a few of my projects, and I decided to try out their TPU. This is my first time trying TPU. I've stayed away from it because I'm told that the Bowden printer is not the best one to be using for it and that a direct feed is. Well, I'm going to give this a try because I got friends that tell me that it works fantastic. Here it is right here. Anyhow, let's rip her open and load it up. Thing to note about TPU is that it seems like it only comes in half a kilogram spools. You can see it's really thin there. One kilogram, half a kilogram. It's like these spools had a baby. Rip this baby open. Ooh, soft. Let's give it a try on a Bowden printer. Not unlike PLA, it'll print it at 200 to 220 degrees Celsius. Two things that I have heard that you want to make note of is that you're probably going to want to turn off your retraction and you got to print this stuff real slow. Let's go check it out. Did I already say that? Probably. Probably said it two or three times already now. Anyhow, let's go check it out. Quick update guys. Brought my TPU filament upstairs and loaded into my Prusa i3 clone. It's got a dual geared Bowden extruder on that and it loaded up really nicely, went in quick. However, you gotta slow print this stuff. I'm starting out at 210 degrees. I turned off all retraction and I'm printing it very slow. I jammed up on my first bench temp around the second layer, so I've slowed it down completely. We're looking at about a four or five hour print for this next benchy, so uh, probably gonna update you tomorrow maybe. That is slow. Slow, but so far, looking good. A long ways to go though. So far, I'm happy with the way the Benchy's coming along. Can't wait to rip that Benchy off the build plate so I can finally print the top plate for my Rimsler Dyson Cinewhoop. And here we are at a snail's pace, but it's looking beautiful. One hour in. Apparently four hours and 32 minutes left to go. TPU for ya. I'm sure I could speed it up eventually. I just gotta tune it in, but let's just start with getting a good first print. All right, time for another update. So I'm on my fourth attempt. I was able to get probably halfway done before I gotta. All right, time for another update, guys. So I'm at my fourth failed benchy right now. I'm having some weird twisting happening at the extruder and I'm thinking it's jamming up inside the Bowden tube. Here's the Bowden tube up here. Here's the Bowden tube that came with my printer. It's got a large inside diameter. You can see there's a lot of play in there. So what I was witnessing is the twisting of the filament inside it quite a bit and I think that was allowing it to twist inside and jam up so what I've gone ahead and done is thrown on a different Bowden tube I don't like these guys because they're not see-through this particular one has a much smaller diameter than the other one as you can see maybe you can't see because 
and see through. My thought is, is that there will be no room for it to twist and bind up. There's a lot more friction going through. Not the friction that causes the problem, it's the binding up. So with this new Bowden tube, I think I'll have a successful print. Only time will tell. Let's try again. I'll see you in a minute. The new Bowden tube seems to hopefully have fixed the problem. We're only an hour and 20 minutes into the print. So it's too early to say, but we'll just keep on trucking. And here we are, the furthest we've gotten so far. So I think switching out the Bowden tube was a success. Almost there. Wow, five hours, 25 minutes. The print is done. Nice. All right. That is a flexible benchy. All right, guys, welcome back. Thanks for staying with me. So it's almost bedtime, and after five hours and 25 minutes, I have my first successful TPU print. All right, well, actually, a little bit longer but five and a half hours basically with this one right here um, with the new Bowden tube I am sure I can slice that time down uh, but I'm not gonna uh, tweak that right now and see how fast I can get it I just want to get this print done so I am going to before I go to bed print the uh, TPU version of the Rimsler Dyson Cinewood top plate and hit print and I'll see you around it won't be long now and all the rest of my parts are gonna be in so you will be able to see this video anyhow back with you shortly well looks like we had a bit of a jam I'll start this one over again good morning guys all right, we are at attempt number six. About an hour in, this is the furthest I've gotten. So with my slicer settings, I have the first layer printing slower than the second layer for better adhesion. So what's been happening is once I get to the second layer, um, in some cases, not in all others, um, it's speeding up too much, especially due to the long lines in the outer perimeter. So I've been knocking the speed down. Seems to be good. Whoa, bro, string much? Four hours, 17 minutes. We can use this printer again for something else now. Yeah, I'd say we nailed it. What a mess. So that's TPU for you. It's exactly what I was uh, expecting. I mean, we can clean up string and that's not an issue. Stuff gets everywhere. There you have it. So we can definitely 100% print TPU with a Bowden extruder. It ain't pretty, but we're not going for looks here. We are going for usability. Hang on. All right. Let's get this attached. I do know this print would have went a lot faster. But I had a direct drive extruder. There you go. Meow. Meow. Rizzler Dyson. It's in a whoop. All right. As you can see, you can print TPU with a Bowden extruder. 
I got a TPU Benji. TPU cover there. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.